Bangladesh. 150 million people struggle to share resources in a country the size of England. Over 90% of Bangladeshi women give birth at home, most with no qualified medical help. Morgina is expecting her second child. Like most Bangladeshi women, she will have her baby with only the help of a dai, a traditional birth attendant. With the nearest hospital two and a half hours away, this is her only realistic option. The methods the dyes use have remained largely unchanged for generations. If there were a serious medical emergency, very little could be done. Rashida is one of the lucky ones. Her family live close to one of the few clinics where good medical care is available. She's been monitored throughout her pregnancy. A midwife trained in obstetrics will attend the birth of her baby. Morgina's contractions have started and the dye is called. The dye's only equipment is a razor blade and a piece of string. Morgina has given birth to a girl, Shimona. At the clinic, Rashida has gone into labor and is being monitored by her midwife. Rashida has also given birth to a girl, Maria. Baby is sucking the first milk. The first milk is vital. It contains the antibodies that will help to protect the baby from dangerous diseases. It will also provide the essential nutrition she will need for healthy development. Rashida will continue to receive care to monitor both her and her baby's health. Morgina and the baby are adjusting to life together. For several days now, Shimona has not been fed any of her mother's milk. Women are traditionally encouraged to hold off breastfeeding for the first few days because the first milk is thought to be unhealthy. If cow's milk or other alternatives are not available, the baby is effectively being starved during the first few days of its life. After the perilous ordeal of birth, this is the most vulnerable time in a child's life. Without fully developed immune systems, four million babies will die in the first month of life, two million within the first day alone. Five days after the birth, Morgina finally begins to breastfeed Chimona. Hopefully, she will now grow strong enough to fight off the illnesses that kill so many young children in the developing world. A healthy woman with her baby. It seems such a simple thing, something that should be the right of all women. 
but here in Bangladesh, for the time being at least, the business of having a baby remains fraught with danger. <laughs>